Hi family, welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Christy and this is my first video on this new channel that I'm starting on how I'm just gonna build stuff. So kind of a backstory is my friend Cooper came down a couple of months ago and he kind of helped me out with building chairs and he spent like a year or two in a wood shop in high school. So he helped me out, give me some tips and all this stuff. And he was like, you should record this because this is hilarious. And then my friend Tyler, who I work with, He's like, Christy, you should start a YouTube channel building stuff from wood because you're awful at it, but relatable. Thanks, I think. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna kinda walk through on how to build a console table behind my couch. And again, I, <laughs> I have a $40 circular saw from Walmart. <laughs> and we're gonna try to figure this out together. Yeah. So let's go do this. So I got this little thing that I found on Amazon's for the contour. It's called a contour gauge and I'm going to do it for down here. However, you're going to notice that there's a space on either side. So it doesn't work. Like if I go all the way down, you see there's this space. So I push it. That's great for up here, but there's this gap. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get cardboard out and we're just gonna do this an old fashioned way with cardboard. Hey, what do you think? Now you can see here that I got the cardboard down on a cutting mat, take a knife and literally all I did was just kind of eyeballed it going back and forth using a Sharpie to kind of perfect the cut. All right, almost. I need to go a little bit higher on the top to get it to come down. Almost, one more cut. There it is. I spent $20 on a contour gauge, ended up using cardboard. So this is Attila's shop. I honestly, I, I don't know why he needs a shop. It's not like he really has any hobbies to do, but he feels like that he needs a shop and I'm grateful because he lets me do nothing in here. Yeah, uh, I don't even get a corner, but I do have like, a circular saw in a tough box. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. So thanks Attila. You know, I don't know what you do in here, but thank you. So <laughs> box right here with all my tools right here. So this is what I got. This is it. I got a $40 circular saw that I got at Walmart. Actually, this belongs to Attila. That belongs to Attila. I got this, which is just a couple of dollars at Walmart. These are highly recommend those clamps, but yeah, let's, uh, use this and go make a table. So I just measured the length of the back of the couch, then the height of it. This is gonna be a mistake, you will see later. Got these seahorses, are these seahorses? So I don't know what these are, but I got them at Home Depot. Gonna kinda speed up the footage here. I just took the clamps that I highly recommend. I can't remember how much they were, but I got them at Home Depot. Now the key here is you gotta try to make the straightest cut you can. And it's kind of difficult with a circular saw. So just go really slow, be super careful. So my second battery died on my camera. You would think I would be a rookie at this, but I do have a, another YouTube channel. So it's not like this is the first time I've done this. However, I guess I'm gonna switch to my phone now for recording. and. I was totally jamming out the Taylor Swift's Evermore album, but now I'm just gonna listen to my own thoughts as I try to do this, so yeah. All right, see so here you can see that I kind of marked it out, the legs. Now what I did, so I don't cut like the wrong side, I actually marked it, so forward and the top part on both these legs. So when, it's, when the table stands up, I wanna make sure that I cut the right sides of these legs so I don't have two like on the front side, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it will once I put it all together. So yeah. So let's go get that jigsaw thingy and let's attempt this. Now you're gonna notice here that I put this blue tape down. It kind of made a better cut, if you will. I'm not gonna say clean because I'm a rookie when it comes to this saw. You'll see that in just a minute. Well, I guess it's, yeah. Man, I suck at this, but hey, we're learning together. Addie, do less. Seriously, you need to calm down. 
Okay, so I think I came up an idea about joining the legs and the top. So I got these extra two by twos. So I cut them to size. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it there and then I'm gonna take one of the legs and put it right here. And then I'm gonna use that two by two to join it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill on the outside in. I was really hoping to keep it clean, but I don't think it's gonna work because this one by eight is really thin. So for me to drill on the inside out, I don't think it'll catch enough meat to be able to hold it, even though I do plan on gluing it. Now this is here, me trying to put the legs onto the tabletop. I used a, like a scrap two by two. The one by eight is not deep enough to actually go from the inside out, but I kind of like being able to see the screw heads. It just shows that it's homemade. I kind of like that. I mean, I did a thing and I want to show people I did a thing. Now, <laughs> they're not even lined up. <laughs> Crooked. I don't care. It's going to be crazy. That's all that matters. Authentic. It's going to be authentic, that's for sure. Yeah. Hashtag don't quit your day job. <laughs> all right. So now we need to put in the electrical plug. This is going to be the tough part. Definitely do not quit your day job, Christy. Anyway, so now I got this electrical plug. So I want to put this along the top of the table so whenever we want to charge anything we just like plug it in and have it you know sitting on the console table and i got this idea from a youtuber i'll here's a clip in the meantime we don't have the tabletop here here is the outlet that we're going to install in the top here i've got a little square drawn out and what i'm most excited about is that i finally get to use my uh, my multi-tool here so as you can see i've got a a plunge wood cut on there and i can just go straight through this thing and uh, i'm gonna try to do this we're gonna figure it out i guess i'm gonna take the drill bit and like drill a hole in here and then use the jigsaw we can obviously see that i'm an expert on the jigsaw Hashtag dripping with sarcasm. And then we're gonna we're gonna put this in. This was a lot harder than I expected, so I used a drill bit that was way too small. So go big on your drill bit. Make a big hole so that way you get that jigsaw blade in there. Can you see that? Yeah, I bent it. Now I'm back to it. So I finally got a big enough drill bit to put the blade in, and then I was able to cut the actual rectangle out. We got our table. We're going to come in here and we're going to test it. See how we're doing. So here we go. So I'm gonna slide it in here. Put it right here on the edge. Slide it in. Like a glove. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this is happening. And then come over here to the other side. Oh, shit. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like it's too tall, isn't it? I don't think I can took in consideration the width of that, so we're gonna have to fix that. <sighs> Such a rookie move. And then, but it looks like the lengthwise is good. I just gotta cut it down, I guess. Oh, I didn't take in consideration this with either. Son of a bitch! So we're gonna do try it again. So there it is. Let me slide it in like a glove. All right, come over here to the other side and slide this one in. So that's good. Got that in. All right, so let's move the couch. Attila, you want to help me? Yeah. Addy, do less. All right, so let's move the couch in. So, how's it look? It, well, it looks pretty gosh darn good on my side. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. does it fit? Yeah, I got half a half a finger of. Yeah, this is pretty. Sure. This is beautiful. This is perfect. Yeah. Did I do a thing? Maybe. I did. I did a thing. I think so. Oh man! All right. So what I did is because I didn't take in consideration the width of the wood. I had to go, and since this was too much of an intricate cut, what I did is I unscrewed everything and cut off of here. So now all I got to do is patch up these holes and patch up my pride, and then we'll paint. 
Now, I was going to save the painting for the next day, but I was so frustrated with the fact that I was a rookie and didn't take in consideration the actual wood width into the markings and into the measurements. And the color is Kona. It was just super relaxing for me to stain it. You kind of paint on some brush strokes and then you wipe it off because you don't want to leave it on there too long because it'll make your wood too dark. So you just kind of apply the stain in layers to get at the depth of the color that you want. Ooh, taking that off is like taking the bra off at the end of the day. Oh, so satisfying. All right, so just went to Home Depot, got some paint and some stuff to finish the console table. Yeah, let's go finish our project. Let's go do some stuff. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna modify it just a little bit. Like I'm gonna put a beam at the bottom uh, so the legs don't tow in. And then I'm gonna put another center beam in the middle to support it so it doesn't end up being like a hammock versus a table. And we're going to paint it and we're going to finish it and put it behind the couch and enjoy our new console table that I somehow or another built. Now you're going to see here that I kind of took a beam and ran it along the width of the table uh, just so it wasn't bowed in. And then I just used metal clamps and screwed those in. But I made sure the screws were not longer than the thickness of my wood. So it's a one by eight wood. So I made sure I had a really short screw. Also, you can see I went and did a beam straight up. So it would be like a, a table versus a hammock. And look at that. It's level. Can you believe it? So anyway, my name is Christy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment. Even if you only have a table saw. Even if you have a hand saw. Just get up and create something. It really feels good to see it. And uh, enjoy your crazy life. So here's my next project. That's the spare bedroom. And you can see it's a very blank canvas. But I got this platform bed with the mattress on it. And I want to build a headboard. So if you got any thoughts to help me out, family, leave them in the comments. Thank you.